Socrates. Yes. Chris. Diabolical Chris. The fiendish Christopher. Poor Chris. Problem, gang. Plotting Claire's downfall? Uh oh. If Claire was honest, and she had to be because she was a superhero, this was a troubling turn of events. See Still, these little. There were reasonably sized bodies of water to cross. Robots are being a. Uh, this is the example of sheep starting to become creative. Do you know how in Battlefield Earth every shot is uh, tilted? There's not one single straight on and it is infuriating. over water, eh? Claire's newly heightened senses told her that there were multiple paths across with various possible configurations of the little posse. Claire, go! They were doing really well. <gasps> oh! 
Claire hoped she could get them all across. I went too fast. John was fully aware he could do this alone. Thomas hoped he'd never have to. Oh, 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 what happened there? That was strange. I got stuck. <laughs> the side of it. needed to be where there were rectangles to save. Being the only superhero in a given space kind of defeats the object. Spikes? That was new. Claire avoided them. She decided they were most likely her kryptonite. Not the rubbish red kryptonite either, the proper radioactive green stuff. was here. Claire felt something had gone wrong. There was a disturbance in the force. Oh, come on. Something had altered the matrix. The world was reacting to their progress. It was amassing its forces. It was plotting against them. Claire finally had a nemesis. Are the graphics set an ultra? Actually, there are. Oh crap! I was looking. There are graphic settings, and I'm on the highest. I'm on fantastic. <laughs> so I imagine you could play this on anything, which I guess was. The point. God damn it! I'm too much of a rush. I know me. It's too much of a rush. Oh, uh, it, oh. Oh. it pushed me. What was that? What was that? Why'd you push me off? What happened? What happened? Why'd you push me? Maybe the world is their enemy. <laughs>
The number or the number button. The arrow keys. I don't know what's going on with my space bar. Hold on. Do it just the right way. Thomas. Um, there we go. <laughs> no. Stop it! Let it that alone. That is not your play blanket. So. Is that a new character I see? Sorry you had to hear that, but I wasn't being mean to him. He grabbed something he was not supposed to grab, something that he Nora could easily was tear apart. This one was behind a wall. Maybe he'd never know what she could do. Maybe, maybe they could just have a conversation, hang out. As long as he didn't find out what she could do, which would never happen so long as they stayed separate. <laughs> Laura didn't have time to worry about the ominous pixel cloud. It had been following her for some time, and it had kept itself to itself until now. More important was the little orange thing, which was looking at her in a way that she kind of, well... Like... She's trampolini! As the square, who had shyly introduced himself as Chris, bounced atop Laura, she began to worry that... He was just using her like all the others had. They'd all bounce too, and then they disappeared when her back was turned. Do we like Laura? Chris is bouncing off. Only the ominous pixel cloud ever remains, looking a little bigger and a little less hungry with every disappearing friend. No, it wasn't shoes, it was a blanket. That wasn't his play blanket. With every bounce, Laura found herself less and less irritated by Chris. She started to miss him when he wasn't there, on another platform or something. This is getting sexy. 